If you are buying or selling a home in the next couple months, you want to listen up because the rules about how to buy and sell and make and sell commissions on it have changed. That according to the National Association of Realtors who have agreed uh, in a policy settlement to make some big changes and those changes are going to affect you. Angela Aiello is a realtor with uh, Berkshire Hathaway. She's going to help break it down for us. Nice to have you here. Thanks, Matt. Thanks so, for having All right, me. so uh, how did we get here? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> we're still trying to figure that out, to mm -hmm. be honest. Um, we're here because we're looking for some full disclosure mm -hmm. and further transparency. And, for, and it's safe to say, process. and that, that was not an issue here in Connecticut, but the, the National Association of Realtors, you know, taking care of every state, there had been a little lack of that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So if you have bought a house, if you have sold a house, you kind of know that there's a commission involved. And that commission, which is usually how much? Uh, roughly 6%, okay. but it's negotiable. It's always right. been negotiable. And, that, and that's going to be the key word here, negotiable. It was always paid by the seller. Why was it done like that? Paid by the seller, but funded by the buyer. Mm -hmm. So that's just where the listing started. It initiated. It was initiated by the seller, mm -hmm. and that's where they determine the list price. Mm -hmm. And in turn, we would always offer a co-broke mm -hmm. to the buyer's agent. Right, and, and that means you're splitting the commission. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can split it. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly 50%, but mm -hmm. it was always negotiable, and it was always transparent to the seller mm -hmm. on what we were offering to the buying to the buying broker. It was in terms of when you say negotiable, was it something that a buyer could say, hey, you know what, um, this is, there's a, or the seller, I should say, this is a number that is a fairly large chunk out of what I'm going to make on my house. Can I lower it? And would a realtor respond to that at all? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, there was there were so many ways to negotiate that into the offer as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. um, I've received offers where the commission's negotiated. I've right. also submitted offers. All right. So let's talk about the buyers and the sellers going forward, because now the commission is going to kind of be replaced by more flat fees, and that will affect not only if you're buying a house, if you're selling it, but as the realtor who's got to negotiate all this. Who wins? So that's another great question. Mm -hmm. We're actually concerned that the buyer will, this will hurt the buyer, mm -hmm. the consumer, mm -hmm. more than How so? the realtor. Um, so a buyer is already paying up upfront fees mm -hmm. for, you know, um, when they have a home inspection mm -hmm. and appraisal. Mm -hmm. um, now a down payment is also a big chunk of their their liquid assets. Right. And if they were now to have to, in turn, offer compensation to their buyer's agent, mm -hmm. you know, the reason it came from the seller is the seller is, that's where the equity is yeah. in the home. Um, so if they have to now negotiate that into their offer, it could also hurt the seller by offering less on their home. So the bottom line is ask lots of questions because ask this is going questions. to be changing. And it already has changed in the last year or two with uh, the world being what it is that a, a lot of down payments have changed. When the, when the when the real estate was up, people were fighting a little more for it and trying to get those offers Absolutely. in. Absolutely. So all these numbers are fluid. Get somebody that you trust. Definitely. Absolutely. Angela Yellow, Berkshire Hathaway. Nice to see you. This is interesting because.